Broke toe link in the rear and then oil line. Not to go down that slippery slope of self-doubt right here. Two weeks in a row making rookie mistakes. Six years in a cup. Need to be replaced. NASCAR fans, we're taking a closer look at Bubba Wallace's recent struggles this season. With 23-11 racing and outburst during the Advent Health 400 race at Kansas Speedway, it is no secret that Bubba tends to attract attention both on and off the track with his various comments. With over 50 winless races under his belt, some even wonder if he's living up to the hype generated by the media. Despite Bubba Wallace hoping 2024 to be a big year for him at the racetrack, it has been full of disappointments so far. Let's shed some light on Wallace's current challenges that provides a comprehensive look at his journey and the dynamics within 2311 racing. But before that, do subscribe to the channel and for more in-depth analysis, subscribe to the newsletter. With previous victories and strong performances, notably his win at Kansas Speedway in the fall of 2022, the stage was set for a promising year. But sports, as we know, can be unforgiving. Though Wallace entered the 2024 NASCAR season riding high on expectations, he had a rough couple of races, with two consecutive DNFs from Talladega and Dover, putting him in a precarious position just outside the NASCAR playoff cutoff. Bubba had prepared for the race at Kansas Speedway with a strong mind, reflecting on the ups and downs of his season. I don't know, but I can all just sit here and you have the long ride over here on a golf cart to figure out what you want to say. And I guess turning 30, gonna be a dad, you gotta be more mature. So it's a bummer. Hate it for our uh, Xfinity US Air Force Toyota. It's not, uh, not the result we needed back to back DNS. Uh, man, Booty said it perfect Tuesday. And I was pissed off and frustrated after Talladega. He says, hey, we're gonna have to grind our off from practice to qualifying to the race and it's not going to be pretty and i don't think he meant that part you know the wrecking out wasn't going to be pretty but um we had to grind and proud of the effort we put in every week just uh, unfortunate no results to show for it we'll just go on to kansas where hopefully we're not around any squirrels even the team's crew chief booty barker was optimistic before the race at kansas he expressed in an interview that their pace and execution had been solid Let's get in the race in a little bit. Month of March was a struggle for you guys. You know, disappointing, I'd say, the finishes you had. You know, Vegas, Vegas, Phoenix, Bristol, disappointing. The month of April seemed like it was on the right trend. Then you go to Dover and you get wrecked. One, how do you make a turnaround when you had a few back bad races? And then how do you take this kind of Dover situation and turn it into Kansas next week? Yeah, it's so frustrating. We knew we had to do a Dover and we were on the way to doing it. And what I mean by that is just a, a really solid top 10. Mm -hmm. helps your metrics for the next week. It just gets everything going going back on the right flow. Uh, so what do you do? We, really what you do, and I, I have yet to talk to Bob about it really, is for us, I feel, we, we will see, right, if I'm right, but we don't need to do anything different. Our pace and really our execution has been very good for the last five, six races. You know, Talladega getting wrecked is one thing. Mm -hmm. Dover getting wrecked is another. When you look back at it, I don't really know if we made any quote unquote mistakes to certain, some things are racing. So I just say going into Kansas, don't press, just do what we do. It's, it's, I guess it's just a good racetrack. He hoped for a turnaround, despite the results not always reflecting their efforts, but that didn't happen. Despite the optimism, Kansas proved challenging, qualifying in 23rd place. Wallace's frustrations boiled over during the race. Hold up, do you know NASCAR is dying? We need your support to make NASCAR cool again. 99% of you aren't subscribed yet? Your support drives us to the finish line. Subscribe today. An inconsistent car left him finishing in 17th place. Far from the comeback he and his team had hoped for. Moves them all up the racetrack for an adjustment. Oh, Logano comes up, Bell comes up, and the 11 gets into the two. Then when he spins back down the track, he clips Bubba in the right rear, turns him around. Th that is not what Bubba Wallace needed. Just wrong place, wrong time. But you get in the middle of the pack like that, things are going to happen. See Cindric come back down and clip that right rear of Bubba Wallace. You see the right rear wheel flopping around. That toe link broke. Boy, it's it hard Ooh. into McDowell. Exasperated, Bubba couldn't help but vent about his car's inconsistency over the radio. He said, So inconsistent, I don't know what to do. You know what we talked about at the shop? Get this mother down. He really unleashed his scathing critique 
on 2311 Racing for not setting him up with a reliable ride. And it looks like he's not the only one struggling. His teammate Tyler Reddick is also in the same boat. But Wallace's recent remarks about the challenges of NASCAR raise eyebrows. While he acknowledges the difficulties, critics argue that his repetitive comments offer little insight into how he plans to improve his performance. His tendency to be involved in on-track incidents further fuels speculation about his readiness for the top echelon of the sport. Wallace took learnings from his setbacks and in a race interview shared insightful details about his frustrations and goals. It's, uh, you know, I think learning you know, how the sport can go. You can start your year off the best you've ever done and you got to be mindful that it can go south quick, which it has, um, but that shouldn't deter you from the path that you've set yourself up for the start of the year. And so you can be frustrated and pissed off all you want. As long as you make a constructive criticism, giving yourself and the team the right feedback to keep moving the needle forward, that's what I've been trying to do. It's, it's easier for me to put it to the side but it's still frustrating, it's still hard. It is what it is, sport doesn't stop, time doesn't stop for you, so no need to sit and dwell on it. There's a lot of people in your corner that are looking for good things out of this weekend, so we gotta go out and do that for them. Analyzing Bubba's season, we see a pattern of great potential marred by recent setbacks. But what's really happening behind the scenes at 23-11 racing? Experts point to several factors, the mechanical inconsistencies, the pressure of high expectations, and perhaps a need for strategic readjustments. Teammate Tyler Reddick's similar struggles in the race underline that Wallace isn't alone in facing these hurdles. However, questions linger about his ability to perform consistently at the highest level of competition. Many fans were outspoken on social media and expressed their opinions about Wallace's car and team, while a few fans highlighted that it was about time that Wallace levels up on the racetrack. While Bubba's comments may not have gone down well with the fans, his team co-owner, Denny Hamlin, appreciated his calm and composed post-race interview, knowing how frustrating it can be for a driver to have back-to-back -back DNF finishes. I don't fault Tyler. I hate it for Bubba because he was grinding his way to a really a pretty good day. He hung around, he was in the top 10 for most of the day. It looked like to me he, was, he kept getting better as the race went on. So, you know, it's too tough weeks for him trust me i know i came off of two tough weeks two dnfs to win the next week i know it's so easy to just zoom in and like just hate life right now just like gosh this sucks you know why me it's just a small it's just a blip in the radar right it's just something that you got to just move past it, it's one of many many races as the season progresses all eyes will be on wallace and 2311 racing to see if they can recalibrate and return to the form that has seen them compete at the highest levels. Kansas might not have been the turning point they hoped for, but with several races left in the season, there's still time to turn the ship around. It is clear that Bubba Wallace's journey in NASCAR is far from over. And there you have it, folks. Whether Wallace can overcome his challenges and secure a spot in the playoffs remains to be seen. What do you think Bubba Wallace and 2311 Racing need to change to get back on track? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe for more interesting stories and updates from everything NASCAR. Do share the videos with your friends. Until next time, keep the conversation going on Lucky Dog on Track.